Hello, hello. Hi, guys. Good evening. Jolanda, so great to see you. How you doing? Uh, fine, teacher. It's, it's nice to see you, too. <laughs> wow, super good to see you. I, I couldn't see you, like, in class number one, but I was, like, wondering yes. if you would be, yeah. like, joining us. Yes. Uh, last week, uh, I was very busy because I am working uh, in anal analy analysis, anal analysis, in analysis, analysis, yes. Analysis of uh, educa 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 education, no, educational mm -hmm. policy. Educational, oh, mm -hmm. all right. Mm -hmm. Now, but it's super nice to see you. I also see that we are having here Fernando. So good evening, Fernando. Um, I saw Daniela Hi, as well. Good evening. good evening. So thanks a lot for joining. Uh, Irving, good evening. I think I saw somebody else. I'm not quite sure where they are. How you doing, guys? How was your weekend? Did you have a nice one? Daniels, there, Irving, Rafael. I think I'm missing somebody. In my kids, yes. Oh, okay. Okay, nice. Do you work? Mary. Hi, Mary. Good evening. I think I saw somebody else some seconds ago. Fernando, great to see you. Hey, thank you for the camera. <laughs> All right, amazing. <laughs> so thank you guys. I see Luis. So Luis is joining as well. Um, uh, Adrian, good evening, guys. Uh, thanks a lot for joining. It's super nice to see you and uh, feel welcome to today's session. Uh, Luis, hi. I don't think I saw your previous class. Were you with us? Or is it that I'm just forgetful? Crazy, good evening. So thanks a lot, guys. Uh, thank you for joining. And thank you for your time. Thanks a lot for uh, joining today's session. That is session number two for this module. I'm super excited to see you and to listen to you. Um, we are going to be like checking today a couple of things. Actually, there was a little homework assignment. So we had to check like some, there were some questions uh, I asked you like to investigate a little bit. I don't know if you had the time. If you didn't, no worries. So we're going to do it together anyways. Okay. And uh, we were like checking a little bit about the use of passive voice that I'm not sure if you still kind of remember that, but we're going to be practicing that part. Um, I think I saw somebody else. OK, no question. OK, guys, so just to get started, we are going to be reviewing verbs in a couple of seconds. But first, I have this little, um, this was the homework. So I just want you like, to check this part, help me a little bit, and let's share some ideas, right? So for example, take a look at number one. Did, did anybody investigate them? Did anybody research a little bit about them? No. <laughs> okay, honestly, no. <laughs> Daniel, Luis, Adrian, <laughs> not really? Irvin? No. Yes. Oh, okay. So you did. All right. So you can be helping us a little bit. Mary, did you investigate a little bit about them? I only have uh, some, some of them, teacher. Oh, perfect. Nice, Susanna. So we're going to be sharing them. Sophia, good evening. Thanks a lot for joining. I see Claudia right there. Okay. So we're going to be just sharing, right? some ideas that you may have and let's put it all together. So for example, number one says, what is important by your country? Do you have any idea what is important by El Salvador? Our yes. city. Cellphones, <laughs> medicines, diesel, um, gas are important in El Salvador. Okay, okay, everything. <laughs> Okay, well, a lot of things, right? It's a lot of things. So um, have you ever imported anything to El Salvador? Have you ever brought from another country? N not necessarily USA. We are talking about from any other country. 
In my case, I imported uh, some kind of, uh, I don't know, cafeterias. Uh, uh, like coffee makers? Uh, it's, yes, <laughs> coffee, coffee makers. Oh, okay. A lot of type of coffee makers from Japan. Oh, interesting. Okay. Are they special or why from Japan? Uh, uh, they are very special because it's a lot of kind of, uh, uh, I don't know, a form or types, types to mm -hmm. make coffee. Oh, okay. So we are talking about big machines, like industrial machinery? Mm, no. No? No, it's, uh, I think it's domestic machines. Oh, okay. Okay. But it caught my attention that you mentioned Japan, not China, not Taiwan, not USA, but Japan. <laughs> I uh, think that the, Japan is famous. <laughs> uh, yes, and in this, in this country, a uh, there are a lot of a uh, type of machines. Well, you know, it's not uh, is I don't is handicraft machines and a lot handmade? of uh, handmade handmade oh. machines. Uh huh. So they are crafted like they are yes. custom kind of custom. So they are handmade. Oh, okay, very interesting. I see Mary. Yes, Mary, tell us about it, and I see Susan as well. Thank you, teacher. Um, in my case, in on my last job, um, I was working as a purchasing. Oh, in the, the purchase department. Logistics. Yes, in the purchase wow. department, and I was in chair uh, to to buy all mm -hmm. the ingredients oh. um, necessary to to make cookies. Oh, super nice. Where did you work? Um, I what? was work uh, in Molinos del Salvador. Oh, so I, I was nice. importing um, milk and I don't know how to say in English, but ingredients like bicarbonato de sodio, benzoato de ammonio. Okay. Um, and so go some chemicals like that. too. Yeah, chemicals. Oh, chemicals. Okay. Uh, milk, sugar. Um, so it is not, it is not, I mean, the ingredients are not taken from El Salvador, but are they imported? Most of them uh, oh. are imported. Yeah, wow. because we, we don't... Um, Produce? Here, here in El Salvador, uh, we don't uh, find the, the quality, the necessary uh, for, the, for the ingredients. And um, also the wow. prices mm -hmm. are uh, low uh, when you in import them. other countries, in other countries. Mm -hmm. wow, For example, we imported um, milk mm -hmm. from New Zealand. Are you serious? And milk yes. is, is cheaper than milk here in El Salvador? Yes. Wow. It's a big difference. Okay. Okay, that's really interesting. I never expected that. I thought that, for example, some like uh, national products could be uh, less expensive, you know, but very interesting. Okay. Um, so you have like milk. So that would be like in the, in the food industry. I so thank you so much for sharing your experience, Susana. I saw Adrian okay, and, and Mary. Welcome. Mary, let me go with you. I saw your, your hand up some seconds ago. Tell us, Mary. Uh, good evening. Hi, good evening. Um, um, rice, mm -hmm. oil, mm -hmm. pal oil, uh, banana, okay. coffee, coffee, okay. and vaccines for human consumption. Like some shots, some vaccines. Sí. Oh, yes. okay, okay. Uh, you mentioned coffee? Vaccines for... Uh, um, ¿Cómo se dice café para mezclar? O, o ya café como preparados. Los usualmente... 
porque vienen como muchos cafés este, de otros países, pero ya vienen como las mezclas. ¿Cómo se dice? Uh, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> you mean like grounded, like ready to sell coffee, or you mean like cafe? So, <laughs> a hard. So, uh, mm -hmm. what, what exactly do you mean? Like grounded, grounded coffee? Like, for example, all of these, uh, las que ya están crunch? Yes. Okay, they are not from El Salvador. So they are in Salvadorian, mm. are they? I'm definitely learning a lot from you guys because I know that El Salvador has really good uh, products, but I'm I'm like super in shock right now. So what do we produce? <laughs> okay. So Mary, you okay. mentioned coffee, you mentioned rice, you mentioned some other products from but the... Oil? Vaccines, okay. Uh, laptop and tablets. Okay, yeah, like electronic devices. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, very interesting. Thank you. So you definitely research. Thanks yeah. a lot. Adrian, tell yeah. us, Adrian. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, classmate. Hi there. And um, in the first question, I haven't seen that. Um, the main thing that El Salvador imports uh, are petroleum derivate, oh. uh, for example, gas, mm -hmm. diesel, and pandemic medicine. Oh, okay. And electronic products, uh, for example, for example, TV mm -hmm. and PCs and the others. Oh, okay, okay, very like similar things, and we can also add the like some food that some guys mentioned already. Nice, thanks a lot for that. Uh, yes, Fernando, tell us. In my case, in my job, imported books from Mexico, from USA. For books. example, books, books, yeah. For example, from okay. uh, Pearson. Uh, wait, where do you work? <laughs> <laughs> in a college. Oh, are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, because Pearson, now I'm like, wait, I normally work with Pearson, Cambridge, all of them. So in your school, so you work with those exactly. printers. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Really good to know. Yeah. Now the most important question, guys, what is exported by El Salvador? So what products do we have? Pupusas. People, teacher, people. Oh, okay. So people, people all right. Pupusas. Pupusas. No. Sugar. We have coffee. Coffee, sugar. I think I heard somebody say. What else? What do we export? Toilet paper. Toilet. Uh, I have heard about teacher. it. I have heard about toilet paper. Loroco. Okay, like food. Uh, I'm sure. There is a company, right? Alas. Alas, something in, in Opico that I think is one of the biggest uh, toilet paper makers. I don't know if that is the only you mean, one. Uh, Kim, Kimberly Clark? I don't know uh, if that is Kimberly. Plus, uh, plastic bags. Plastic bags, okay. Ternova. Kimberly Clark is now Ternova, right? I'm not the sure. Their name, yeah, is Ternova. Okay. So, but Kimberly does a lot of toiletry, right? So they, they make toilet paper, they make everything regarding um, like sanitizers, sanitizing things, wipes, and plastic I believe, bags. and plastic yeah. bags. Okay. Also in El Salvador, there are good laboratories, right? El Salvador experts people. Yeah, well, but we have nice people, hardworking people, and very intelligent people. That is the most migrants, important thing. Teacher, migrants. Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately. But El Salvador offers too much services. For example, to the performers, call centers, and tell us. And that is a good is. point. So probably yeah. we don't export products as such, but we export 
knowledge in that case. So people and services, that's a good point. All right, let's talk about something nicer, you know, cause it's like, oh my God, what do we export? Okay, uh, so let's take a look at the third one that we have right here. And it says, what do you think is the most uh, popular luxury item in your country and who is it made by? Do we have any luxurious object here? Or do you have any luxurious object? Yes, in Salvador, uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, cars, no? Uh, luxury cars. I think we uh, do the have... Gas. The gas. Gas. Yes. Actually, the gas. The gas. Is... The gas is oh, you mean... <laughs> okay. I was thinking, why gas? Oh, you mean because of the prices, right? Yeah, so it is a look. No, the look, the look, for it, the look for it, I think uh, uh, with Yolanda is the, the car, the car. The, and the cheese. I think. <laughs> cheese? The cheese. <laughs> okay, so cars, gas, and cheese. There is something else that is truly expensive, but I don't remember what it was. Okay, but yeah, you're totally right about it. Okay, um, so let, let's move on with the next one. Um, it called my attention this one because um, I was like checking, you know, some information on it. And it says, what do you think exp expensive perfume or an expensive perfume is made of? Uh, do you have I an think idea? It's Chumuk perfume. The cost of this perfume is 1.29 uh, million dollars. Oh, okay. What is it made of? United Arab Emirates. Uh huh. Dubai. What? 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 Okay. So it isn't made. Of, it is. It is made in the in the Emirates. But what about the the like the ingredients? What ingredients are used in order to make this perfume? Our secrets. <laughs> so secret so ingredients. Oh my goodness, I only saw, for example, Avon Lebel. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, so you were looking for it. And you are talking about the perfume expenses? Okay, oh my goodness. And, what and happened with you? Said. This is Salvador here. <laughs> so you were investigating size. So I can pay it. I can pay it. <laughs> no, uh, but yeah, yeah Susan. Uh, hi, Dad, over uh, Good evening. No, I, I just want to say that I, I was research about this uh, question okay. and I found uh, the most expensive perfume was made by Londres. Oh, <laughs> so yeah. it's a London perfume. Uh -huh. okay. But I, I, I don't know how to pronounce that because it's, it's French. like, a, uh -huh, yes, it's mm. French by Henry Jacques. Okay. Let's say that that is the pronunciation, mm. no worries. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, well, very interesting, you know. I was reading that the most, I didn't find exactly the brand, but I read that the most expensive perfume is made of whale vomit. So it's like the, this animal, the whale, they vomit mm. and the vomit creates like a new substance. That's and expensive. It can, yeah, and it's considered the most expensive substance that if you get it, you become millionaire immediately. And people use it for perfumes. I don't remember the name, but it's like a rock. So it's like, like a solid, you know, rock. I don't know. But I was like, okay, I didn't expect that. So a lot of crazy things can happen. But it caught my attention, Fernando's answer. So <laughs> he was more into... Salvadorian perfumes, you know. <laughs> okay. No, but cool, cool. Sounds definitely nice. Alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Alcohol. Lemon, you know, baking soda. <laughs> and different ingredients here. Okay. What about the next one, guys? Um, who are the best electronics made by? And at the beginning, Yolanda said Japan. So she mentioned that when she was talking about the um, coffee makers. Guys, what, what do you think? If you had to choose, for example, between uh, a computer or a cell phone, something that was made in USA, uh, in Korea, in China, in Japan, in El Salvador. So what would you select? Regardless of the price, let's talk about the manufacturer. Which would you select? Apple. Okay, so Apple. Apple brand or Xiaomi cell phones. 
Xiaomi is uh, Korean, isn't it? Chinese. Chinese. Okay, that's Chinese. And Apple, that's American, right? Yeah, you sorry. Okay. So in but computers? Maybe in China. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, Rafael, depends, exactly. Depends oh. you, you, uh, it depends on the situation. If you are a programmer, you can buy Apple. Mm -hmm. If you are a gamer, you can buy a Windows, like any other computer. So it okay. depends. For design, is the best Apple, too. Oh, okay. So it, it's not exactly about where it was made, where it was manufactured, but like the brand itself. Apple is from USA, but the manufacturer is from China. <laughs> yeah, that's what Rafael mentioned. Okay, okay. I don't know why, guys, but I, I trust a lot in Japanese products. So mm -hmm. wh whenever, you know, I see something made in Japan, I'm like, oh, this has to be good. What are your Sony. thoughts on that? Mm -hmm, exactly. Uh, now, Sony. But Sony is manufactured so? in China too. But for Samsung computers is very bad. Yeah, oh. computers, yes. But uh, when it comes to uh, equipment, like sound equipment, they're the best, I think. Electronic equipment. Because, for example, if it is uh, maybe not exactly about electronics, but if we're talking about cars, for example, so I'm more into Japanese stuff rather than Korean things. Uh, and, you know, another less to say um, the other one, like Chinese products, you're like, okay, so Chinese are not long lasting or anything. But this is the, actually the next one. It says here, who are the most expensive cars made by? So not where, but like who made them? So who are the most expensive cars made by? Are you familiar with this? Did you investigate a little bit? Did you find any information about it? A little, yes. Yeah. What did you uh, find? The most expensive cars are made by Pagani yes. Mobility. It's an Italian company, I think. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, what is the brand for yeah. this? Pagani. Uh, Pagani. Yes. Pagani Pagani That's the brand. Pagani That's Sonda. The brand. The Irali. Oh, very interesting. Okay. Okay, teacher is Ferrari car. Ferrari. Ferrari. Mm -hmm. That's Italian, isn't it? Italian from Italy. Okay. Any other um, Rolls Royce? Rolls Royce. Uh, London. In cars. Oh, so that is a UK. All right. Mm -hmm. Nice. And those are the most expensive cars. Um, um, the first, no, Rolls Royce, but, but tall. So it's very mm -hmm. in London. Okay. And you know, because I saw a lot of Fast and Furious and because I saw a lot of Need for Speed, <laughs> I was hoping to hear other brands, <laughs> but it sounds really nice. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I think I had, I had heard a little bit about that brand before, but I'm not that familiar. Okay, guys. And the last one here says, what materials are your clothes or shoes made from? This is really interesting because we get to know materials vocabulary so what is your clothes made of what materials cotton. do you remember okay cotton. 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 polyester 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 linen linen canvas line okay rubber rubber synthetic okay. synthetic leather okay. synthetic leather okay Manta. So, <laughs> synthetic fiber. <laughs> yes, yeah, some fibers. Oh, actually, that's synthetic indigo. Uh-huh. Uh fabric. We can call it fabric. Uh-huh. By the way, that, that's a really good one. When we are talking about clothing, we call it fabric. So be careful because this is fabric. And a, and a fabric is not fabric. <laughs> so that would be like a company, like a factory. So they can be very confusing. Uh -huh. But in clothes. It's like uh, tejido, teacher? 
Yeah, so we can call fabric. it fabric. Mm -hmm. Yes, that would be fabric. So any any type of, of clothing is made of fabric. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, nice. I'm super glad to hear that. I'm super glad to hear that you investigate a little bit about it. And let's just move on with this part. So in the previous class, we were talking about passive voice. And this is exactly what we have here. If you take a look, it's like, what is important? What is exported? Um, what is it? Who is it made by? So we are using passive voice. We don't care who did it, but we care about the activity itself. Now we're going to continue a little bit with this part. And give me one sec. My computer is, what's going on? Hold on. OK, there it is. There it is. Okay, take a look at the following exercise here. We have a couple of more important discoveries. We have some extra information. And of course, we are not going to care too much about the person who did it, but we are going to pay a lot of attention to the activity, to what happened. So we're going to try to make some sentences using passive voice to talk about the importance of the event. For example, here I have that in 1984, I have the Olympic Games. I have Los Angeles. So how can you express this idea using passive voice? We don't know who did it, so that is not important. Can you give me a sentence? Can you give me an idea, a complete idea, using the information that we have in the different charts? Let's go with something easier. For example, here we have Hamlet, uh, Shakespeare, England and 1604, or one, sorry. So what is the idea that we are um, trying to transmit right here? Okay. Shakespeare wrote the Hamlet at 1601. Oh, that's a very nice one. Okay, that's a very nice one. Now, let's eliminate the word Shakespeare. He wrote a... Hamlet or, or Hamlet was wrote by uh, him in England in 1901. We are going to eliminate Shakespeare. That can be a possibility, but let's not talk about him. Let's to totally forget about Hamlet. Uh, I mean, it, let's it totally was. forget about Shakespeare. Hamlet. It was, it was, was right. Hamlet, Hamlet was, was wrote for in England in 16. But oh, if you if there we, we go. go, there if we go. If you will was, if we use was, uh, mm -hmm. I think the, the verb uh, did don't change. Oh, let's take a look at it. We we mentioned in the previous class that passive voice has a very specific structure. So in passive voice, we are going to use subject we are going to use verb B, so verb B is necessary, but we are going to use the past participle of the verb, okay? So by saying that, I cannot include the word Hamlet, I mean Shakespeare at the beginning, but I'm just going to talk about Hamlet here. So you mentioned Hamlet was, because I'm following this, is exactly, right. because I'm following the structure. So I have right, but I'm going to use the past participle. Written. So write, wrote, written. written. Uh, there we go. Written. So Hamlet was written mm -hmm. in, uh, England. in England, exactly. And then we have the extra information. Hamlet was written in England in 1601. If, if you want to include Shakespeare, you need to include by, by Shakespeare. But this is not necessary. You can eliminate it and we are super good because I'm just um, focusing on this activity. I don't know and I don't care who did it. I want to know uh, the information about Hamlet only, right? And this is passive. So I'm focusing on the event, not on the person. So Hamlet was written in England in 1601, okay? So try to follow this structure, subject, there be right now we are going to use was or were we are going to use it in past and then the past participle of the verb that you want to use all right um so guys i don't know if this is all right for you let's try to complete the others okay let's i'm going to give you 
I'm gonna give you five minutes so you can give it a try. So you can write your own examples and then we share, right? We compare. Um, yes, I think I heard somebody's voice. Yes, it was me. Tell me, Cody, I tell me. If, if the, the sentence of America and Christopher Columbus. Oh, nice, like, nice. America was discovered. Is is it was discovered by Christopher Columbus at 1492? Yes, that, that is totally fine. So America was discovered. Exactly, that is the structure. So America was discovered in 1492. If you want to say Christopher Columbus, we don't really need it, but you can say by because he did it and the bike uh, tell us who did it mm -hmm. it is not necessary though okay. so america was discovered i can eliminate this america was discovered in 1492 and that is perfect because i don't care about christopher mm -hmm. exactly but yeah that is the idea that Teacher, is exactly i have a idea. question yes tell me okay in the first example hamlet mm -hmm. was written by a uh, no in england in uh, in 1601 mm -hmm. Oh, so in, in. Yes, uh, okay. because for years we use in and for countries we use in as well. Mm -hmm. Repetitive, Teacher. but yes. Yes, uh, hi Enrique, Teacher. good evening. Hi guys. Great to hear really? you, how yeah. you doing? <laughs> um, I, I have an, an, a question for you. Of course, tell me. For example, uh, if you is if if correct if you don't say uh, um, in for example in sixteen o one or at sixteen o one for country for times uh, it depends but in this case we have a year so for years we use in in sixteen o one in fourteen ninety two in um 2001 so for years we can only use in normally we use at for a specific moments of the day like at night uh -huh. uh -huh. so but at noon for example but for years that would be in uh it sounds repetitive here a little bit but that would be the correct way mm -hmm. okay teacher thank you mm -hmm. you're welcome any other question guys guys if this is confusing if you have some questions about passive voice let me know we can go over this again or we can do it together because i know the topic can be a little confusing so remember passive voice is to say fue right it was discovered it was written it was hit it was eaten it was done so no me interesa tanto quién lo hizo, sino qué pasó, right? So what happened? That is the point. I'm going to give you like four, like three more minutes. I'm going to give you three more minutes. And then we compare, right? We shared ideas.
One more minute. Hey guys, so let's compare what you have. Okay, so give us your examples, please. Give us your ideas and we compare everything here. So for example, with the one that is Stonehenge, what do you have in this one with England? Stonehenge were built in England 4,000 years ago. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so just a little question. That would be was or where? Was. 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 There we go. Exactly. So that, that would be the, just the only change. Super good. So was built, right? Because it's only one place. So what about the one that we have? Oh, you already gave us the one for America. What about the Olympics? So the 1984 Olympic Games, Los Angeles. Does anybody have any idea here? The 1984 Olympic Games, it was in, in Los Angeles. All right, yeah, that was make sense. Oh, okay, okay. So let's think about some possible verbs we can use here. So the 1984 Olympic Games, we have the word games, plural. So was or were, what do you think? Yeah. Were celebrate where and the past where, participle where in Los Angeles. Were celebrated. I'm going uh, to give you another know. word that is hold that we can use for these games. So the games were held. So that is the past participle of hold. Hold, held, and held. In Spanish, when you use the word hold, so that means uh, que tomo lugar, right? So the the Olympic Games were held in 1984, uh, um, sorry. For example, when you're talking about mm. a meeting and you say, oh, la reunión tomó, tomó lugar. So the meeting was held or the celebration, the celebration was held. So we can use it that way. Okay, what about this example um, in France? Does anybody have a, an example for this one? Yes, teacher. <laughs> Telas, telas. Yes. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, Enrique, if you have a telas, go, go for ahead. it. <laughs> okay, teacher. I, I think is the Eiffel Tower was constructed in eighteen eighty nine. Mm -hmm. Yes. In, in France. In France. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. That's nice. Do, do you have something different? Was made. Was designed. Was in France built. By Gustave Eiffel in eight, 1889. Okay. Very nice. So all of them definitely work. Actually, Gustave was the designer. So yeah, was built. Uh, was designed, uh, was made, uh, so that definitely makes sense. Very good, very good. Let's teacher, go. mm -hmm. yes. teacher, but design is not the same as well or construct. Design is 
the architect uh, and the and the plane. I I I think is uh, in the uh, only in paper. Design. Yeah, design is only in paper, but um, remember that in passive voice, I don't really care about this person. I don't really, I don't really need to say who did it, so I can easily eliminate it. And I can say like the tower was built in 1989 in France, the tower was made in 1989, or the tower was designed in 1989. So the three of them actually make sense. So they are all right, because at the end, this person is not that important. <laughs> so that is the point with okay. passive voice, that we can just eliminate the person. Okay. Uh, we are important. Teacher. We are important. We teacher. are not here. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> uh, teacher, oh, yes. I have yes. another question. No, Yolanda. Okay, uh, it's possible to say in, in 1889, the Eiffel Tower was built. Yes, I can change okay. the order and the idea is exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, even you can say at the beginning in France, in France, the, the tower was built. I mean, if you change the elements, it doesn't really uh, modify the meaning. So the meaning is the same. Mm -hmm. And guys, let's go for the last. The Great Wall of China, what do you have in here? The same, no? The Great Wall was built more than 2,000 years ago. Yes, that's right. So the Great Wall of China was built. What other word can we use? It was... Well, we can use the same as you previously mentioned. So the, the Wall of China was built, was made, you know, was creative. So we have like a lot of birds. It's not different, and make and build. It's um, not different the meaning for this type of, uh, I don't know, construction? Not really. Uh, the, the meaning can, can be very similar here. Mm -hmm. So not, not necessarily, all right. Guys, I have just a little ex exercise for you. And uh, we are going to talk a little bit about invention so we can use a passive voice here. So it says, in your opinion, which are the most important inventions? What was it used for? What was it made of? And why is it important? Um, remember, we are going to be using these to talk about the invention, not about the person, not about what you do, but what was it made of? So what are some important is elements um, I can use here? Give me one sec. So I can use some expressions like, for example, it is used for, it is made of, um, or it was, it is said, for example, it is said that if I want to talk a little bit about that invention, so, and I am making use of passive voice because I don't say you, I don't say people, I don't talk about the person, but I'm going to talk about invention. So we can use some of these expressions to talk about them. If you take a look at the picture, you have some tires, you have helicopters, um, you have uh, even some electric chairs, so you have a lot of things. So the, the activity, guys, is to talk mm -hmm. about it. Which are the most important inventions? Why, right? And if you have the chance to use passive voice, so let's try to do it as well. I'm going to um, ask you guys to join the breakout rooms just to talk a little bit about it. Please take a picture so it can be easier for you to have an idea about the inventions and just talk. We have 10 minutes and then I will bring you back. So, question. Yes, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> and the last one, the great wall was built more than uh -huh, mm -hmm. 2,000 years ago by Chinese people. Oh, it's that right. is, yeah, that is correct. You can eliminate <laughs> Chinese people and it is still perfect. Yes, so those are okay. Mm -hmm. Remember that the, 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 buy, the buy thing is not necessary. But it's not mandatory. Not, 
Um, no, unless you want to be very specific. The exercise was completed by Sofia. Uh, but you're putting a lot of emphasis on the person who did it. Otherwise, you can just say the exercise was completed. That's it. Mm -hmm. So both are correct. Guys, I already sent you the invitation. Uh, Azucena, uh, Mary, so if you can click and accept the invitation to go to the breakout room, that would be nice. Adrian as well. Enrique, I sent it over to you. Um, Veronica, you can join as well. Claudia, Francisco, you can join, guys. And I will be seeing you in some minutes. Mary, I think you are in your cell phone. So on your cell phone, on the left, va a haber un cuadrito. There is a little square that says a grupo reducido. No sé si lo logra ver, Miss. Can you see that? Está, está en mute, Miss. <laughs> you are in mute. <laughs> Me estaban invitando a unirme a otro grupo, pero yo le di cerrar. Sí, sí, está en el teléfono. Bueno, en la parte izquierda de su teléfono, como en la pantallita, uh -huh. le va a aparecer por acá uh -huh. un cuadrito que dice grupo reducido. Uh -huh. ¿Lo logra ver? Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? Solo, solo le den cimita ¿Sí? y eso es todo. La va a llevar al grupo. Y yo después la voy a traer. No se preocupe. <ríe> Para que pueda practicar con claro. los demás. Ajá. Vámonos, guys. Let's go. Teacher. I... Hi, Teacher. I'm sorry. I was in mute, Francisco. Dígame, I, tell me. I can, I can see the the, the group. the group the join uh, are you in the cell phone or are you in the computer the computer okay in the computer en la parte de abajo como en el menú like in the menu of your like in the in the menu of your computer le va a aparecer un cuadrito creo que dice más o dice grupo reducido mm. I can, ver. I can, can you see. cannot see that? I can see. Okay, so después de compartir pantalla, ¿lo era ver compartir pantalla? No. Oh, déjeme dejar, voy a dejarte compartir acá. I'm going to stop sharing here. Okay, so ahorita está okay. en la computadora. Are you in the computer right now? Sí. Okay. Logra ver el menú de abajo. Sí. Can you see your menu? Sí. Ve dónde dice grupo reducido. Eh, break up rooms. Break up rooms, correct. Break up rooms. So ahí le doy encima, le doy a aceptar okay. y eso es todo. Yeah. Los veo ahí un momentito. elevator okay and well i i have to say that all the invention are important except the the dynamite and the, the gun and the, the guns gun. the gun yes. also the guns uh... i think the gun is important but the, uh, in, the gun in, you can use for for protect uh, for no animals. Use. It depends to the use, yes, because yeah. you can um, hunt hunt it's animals. In the past, in, <clears throat> in the past, people hunt animal for for food. In, in my case, I cannot uh, use Using, I don't know how to use a escopeta because uh -huh. my, my TV is escopetas. I don't know. You can use a fire gun, you can use the word fire gun. Okay. Teacher, how do you say, teacher, how do you say a salon? Teacher, hello. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry, I wasn't yet. I, I'm trying to remember. She's so uh, it's like a shovel. No, no, no. Shovel is um, 
I don't use that word. Give me one second. <laughs> Let me try to remember. I know what is a shovel, but an acidon is different. Give me a sec. Let me try to remember that. And what is the, the picture? The glasses. <laughs> What is the picture that is under the helicopter? I... The... I don't know how to say. Anybody know? Um, the picture that is under the helicopter. I think um, in the past, people used to decapitate people. Yes, I think this is that uh, is a guillotine. Guillotine. And I can see um uh, the the picture that is next to dynamic because uh, I use glasses, guys. I don't see uh clear. At the right or the left? What, what do you say, Cody? Uh, at the right or left? Uh, the at the right, I see like a calendar. I, I think know. I think it is Tabla Periodica, I think. Um, okay. Uh, I don't know if it's the, the calendar. Sorry, guys, to interrupt, I already got the word for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is a digging bar. Um, so I, I was confused for a second with the word shovel. Um, but but because, because in Spanish, I normally confuse them. But a shovel uh, is a pala, right? And a digging bar is what we call in Spanish un asadón. So that is the one. Thank teacher but you have a, Sorry. this kind of connection for your phone uh? hi sorry teacher oh why teacher, what, what happened there. yes I'm, I'm here okay. can you hear me okay Yes, uh, oh, I'm okay. sorry, but I have a question. I have yes, a question. Yes, yes, of uh, course. Uh, this uh, this uh, group is only for um, how how uh, sorry how we can have ideas about uh, which are the most important invention and why, but no is uh, recognize uh, some picture of here. Mm -hmm. It's correct. <clears throat> Uh, what do you mean? Like to identify but, every picture? But recon yes, recognize not... the picture is the first step that we can do, oh, I think. Not, not necessarily. Exactly. Yeah, the, the picture is just for you to like bring some memories back. Yeah. So in the picture, you have a couple of inventions. But probably you will not find the one that you consider the most important invention. So it is just for you to, to see something there. <laughs> but no, it is not necessary. Mm -hmm. Guys, we have only like uh, one. We have just like one more minute. OK. And the pen, this is the most important invention.
Hello guys and welcome back. So, um, Sylvia, great to see you. Great to see your camera. <laughs> That's so nice. Nice to meet you. I'm oh, just kidding. <laughs> How are you, Miss? You're mute, you're mute. I miss you. There you go. <laughs> How are you? Are you having a good day? Very good. Yeah, I'm just tired, teacher, but we are here to learn. That, that's important. I know Mondays are difficult to, to start, right? To get started is really hard. But then you go Tuesday, Wednesday, and the week is almost over. <laughs> so keep yeah. it keep it positive. <laughs> okay, guys. So the question was, what is the most important invention? What was it used for? Why? So do you have any ideas of the most important inventions? What do you consider is the most important invention here? The guillotina for criminals. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What? Right. Why? All the time. I'm Why? sorry. For bad people. <laughs> yes, for killed bad not. people. <laughs> not only bad. A lot of people that <laughs> went die there. <laughs> the okay. bad people kill the, the good people. <laughs> okay. okay. Bad so, people. Which would you say was the most important one? Really? Like the head cutter? <laughs> Teacher, yeah. I think the most important invention is the tire. So we can we can use for transportation for example we transport everything in in the tire okay so tires all right uh irving i think you got the idea there electricity electricity okay yes i would totally because, agree uh, uh, some of the that we see here wouldn't work if you didn't have electricity actually nothing will work <laughs> You are totally right. Everything only the guillotina. I'm sorry. <laughs> only the guillotina can work. Oh, uh, yeah. The guillotina. <laughs> no, but you're totally right. Now everything works with electricity, cars, you know, um, ele electronic oh. devices, oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> house appliances, the refrigerator. <laughs> So phone. everything, phone, exactly. So if you don't have electricity, you're in darkness, right? And it's like, you I'm have so nothing. Uh -huh. that you have but, definitely made a point there. But what you do, do you prefer, electricity or water? Oh. Ah. Good, good question, good water, question. 100% water. Interesting. Well, but the electricity was created kind of man made. It was discovered, to be honest. Oh, the electricity it made, it was discovered. The hydroelectric. Modified. Well, you made a point. <laughs> I have never thought about it. Like, water creates electricity. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it has been not given to you. <laughs> okay. Guys, this has. Yeah, yeah, guys, this has been super amazing to listen to your opinions. I love it. And I love like your participation today. Time runs so quickly. So let's do this. For tomorrow, I'm going to give you an extra assignment from than the one or, or from the one that is in the platform. I want you to select guys so we can make some vocabulary. I want you to think all right about 10 different tools so let me just say this in spanish so we get it so guys pensemos en 10 herramientas cualquier tipo de herramientas que ustedes utilicen or probably not you probably your parents probably en el pasado y vamos a intentar utilizar la expresión is used for so para que practiquemos también eh, las pasivas so cómo lo vamos a hacer like super easy for example, in the group, me preguntaban, how do you say asadón? So, to be honest, I had totally forgotten about it. So, podemos usar, por ejemplo, digging bar. Y de una sola vez utilizamos o, o aprendemos y practicamos vocabulario nuevo. So, a digging bar is used for, right? So, y creamos nuestra definición de para qué se utiliza. So, podemos hacerlo con 10 diferentes herramientas. Piensen en su casa qué herramientas tienen, right? A computer, as, um, I don't know, puede ser un martillo, puede ser un screwdriver. 
o si trabajan en el área de belleza, por ejemplo. Uh, uh, so, cualquier detalle que tengan, like polvo, por ejemplo. How do you say polvo? How do you say maquillaje? ¿Para qué se usa? So, vamos a intentar trabajar con definiciones as well y las compartimos el día de mañana, right? We will be sharing this tomorrow. This kind of uh, polvo is dust or not? Yeah, pero para maquillaje sería powder. That ah, would be, uh, that would be not, powder. That's in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> that's is like lo que tiene la computadora, you know? <laughs> yeah, no, but para maquillaje es powder. Teacher, teacher, powder. Yes. Powder in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We change the name of the song. <laughs> New vocabulary. <laughs> Okay. Teacher, so teacher, yes. teacher, teacher, fue Juan Pablo, second uh, go for, go to Cuba, and the Cubans uh, received him in a pancarta, rótulo. Okay. <laughs> they write, they wrote, welcome, <laughs> welcome, pote. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I have to let you go because I have another class, but <laughs> thank you for the joke. <laughs> See you tomorrow guys, have a good night. See you tomorrow,